Welcome back to another episode of the Ark Survival Guide. Today we are going to show you where to find Dodicarus on the Crystal Isles map, and we'll give you lots of really good spawn locations for Dodicarus, so you can find your own amazing stone gathering machine, which will help you so much on your Crystal Isles adventures. Now, if you're not familiar with Dodicarus already, they are amazing at gathering stone, and you can gather so much stone you won't ever run out if you have just one decent level Dodicarus on your team. So as soon as I start playing Ark, I almost immediately go after a beaver and then a Dodicarus, so I have unlimited building supplies, and it lets me level up ten times as fast. And you actually don't even need a saddle to use a Dodicarus, because they will automatically harvest rocks if you park them next to them, or if you set them on wander. And once you get an Argent an Avis, you can actually carry a Dodicarus in its claws and fly it from stone to stone and get thousands of stone per minute really easily. So having a Dodicarus will totally change your life on Ark. Now this guide will not only show you some of the best locations to find Dodicarus on the Crystal Isles, but I will also give you some really good advice as far as avoiding dangerous dinos while you tame them, and good ways to get them onto a taming raft so you don't actually have to sit around and defend yourself while all the other stuff tries to eat you. Because pretty much every place you can find Dodicarus on the Crystal Isles is quite dangerous. Now if this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications, because we have so many helpful live streams, let's plays, guides, tips, and tricks coming your way, and you won't want to miss any of that. So let's get started. Alright, so we are here on the Arc Wiki Crystal Isles Map Spawn Location Guide, and this is actually really helpful. They have a spawn map where you can find all of the locations of every dinosaur that spawns on the Crystal Isles. Now these red squares are really rare spawn locations, that means if there is something that spawns there, it's very unlikely, so these are hardly worth looking, but you can technically find Dodicarus in any of these red squares. Now the green squares are where they spawn pretty often, but even if they do spawn here, some of these areas are so dangerous they will get eaten pretty quickly, so I'll tell you more about that throughout this guide. But most of you guys are probably going to be starting in the White Shoals starting zone, because that is the easy starting zone for the Crystal Isles map. So I'll show you a lot of places you can easily access access to find Dodicarus on a raft, especially places like this and uh, up here, where you can actually sail to on a taming raft, pick up a Dodicarus, and then sail back home while it's unconscious. But I'll show you a much more in-depth look on most of the spawn locations for Dodicarus on the Crystal Isles map, and give you some good advice as far as where to look for them. But do keep in mind, just because I found a Dodicarus there does not necessarily mean you will, and you may have to check back on some of these spawn locations multiple times before you you actually find a Dodicarus. Now my first recommendation for the best place to tame a Dodicarus on the Crystal Isles map is right here, and this is actually a little island right at the edge of the desert, and uh, right at the edge of the Green Vale. And I've actually spotted two Dodicarus here, this is a very common spawn location on the Crystal Isles map, and it's right here, and you can see it's right at the mouth of the river and right next to the desert. And you can actually sail here, there's a little spot where the uh, water comes up against the land, and and that's actually a great place to park your boat because you should be safe from lead sick these too. So this is definitely a great place to find Dodicarus and it seems to be one of the safest places too. I've seen plenty of raptors and a couple carnotaurs, but uh, if you park your raft right up here and you get the Dodicarus to chase you onto the raft, you can easily knock it off on your taming raft and then sail back to your base as long as you can avoid the lead sick these. You might run into a couple of them along the coast, but this should be a great spot spot to get yourself a Dodicarus on the Crystal Isles map, and it's probably the safest and easiest location, and probably the best spawn location as far as the highest chance to find a Dodicarus, too. Now this location is probably my second favorite place to find Dodicarus, but it's a little bit more dangerous. We're just down the coast from this waterfall in the savanna area, right across from the swamp, and this is actually where you can find those ant hills I've showed you guys before on the guide on how to get tons of chitin. And check it out, we got a nice lime green and red Dodicarus right here along the coast. 
but we also have a Spinosaur, and I've actually seen a Basilisk just hiding out right next to this little shoreline too. And as you can see, we've already got terror birds coming in to try to terrorize that Dodicarus. That's why they call them terror birds. But if uh, you can find a live Dodicarus down here, it is a bit more dangerous, but I do see a lot of Dodicarus in this location. And all up and down these hills, there's a decent chance to find some Dodicarus, but I do usually see plenty of dangerous stuff around. Around here. But if you're lucky, you'll find a Dodicarus that's still alive, and uh, this is actually a good spot to look for them. So here's another good location where you can find Dodicarus, and uh, it's still a little dangerous. We're actually just down the coast from where we were just showing you. And uh, I actually found a basilisk just sticking out right here. You can see his tail popping up right there, just waving around, hoping somebody comes to check it out, and then he pops up and eats you. Actually, right across from this little bay, there is a plant species X seed pod on this little island that sticks out. There's quite a few of those over there, so it's a pretty good place to grab those if you need them. And uh, we got a nice little blue and white Therizinosaur right below us, so there is definitely always some dangerous stuff around here. But as you're uh, hunting for Dodicarus, if you see Brontosaurs walking and not fighting anything, that's usually a better chance to find something still alive nearby, and you can spot those from pretty far away. But here's actually where I found the Dodicarus over here, and uh, he's actually not getting attacked by anything, which is great. So anytime you can find find one not getting attacked, that's awesome, and uh, if you can get him to follow you back down to the coast to get him onto a raft, he'll be really easy tame. They're not hard to tame on land, but you will have to survive out here for quite some time while you're taming them, and that can get pretty dicey pretty fast. Especially uh, if you look in the distance here, we can actually see a Tyrannosaur just walking around, which is probably why most of the other dangerous stuff is dead at this point. So definitely a slightly dangerous area, but it's better than quite a few of the places we could hunt for Dodicarus. And if you're hunting for them around this area, you can just sail down the coast, check out some of the areas up there, maybe take a fast mount where you can easily run away from deadly stuff, then hop back on your raft and keep heading down the coast, see if you can find another Dodicarus in the next location. Now we're a little bit further down the coast and we've got this bay right here, and according to the spawn maps, this is an amazing place to find Dodicarus because there's a lot of really high Dodicarus spawn rates out here. But let me show you why you won't actually find very many Dodicarus on this section of the coast. So this whole area with all the palm trees and everything is covered in deadly stuff, including thylacoleos, which are the main reason I avoid the redwoods altogether. Those things will mess you up. There's also lots of carnos, you'll get basilisks and crocodiles spawning right on the coast, and uh, pretty much every few feet you've got something that's ready to eat your Dodicarus as soon as they spawn in, which is why I actually have not found any live Dodicarus on this coast, but you can always check if you want to, just be warned it's pretty dangerous. Now right on the edge of the desert in this bay is another spot where we can find some Dodicarus, but uh, once again it is a nasty place, and uh, as you can see we got a basilisk killing everything right on the coast, but if you can make it past some of these deadly creatures that are just waiting for you, and head up some of these ramps up onto the higher levels here, you may actually run into some Dodicarus and Ankylosaurs, there's actually quite a few of these thorny dragons which will, uh, you know, be good for harvesting wood, so a lot of good gathering dinos show up right around here, but as you can see they don't all get along, and uh, the odds of finding one that's still alive are not super awesome. But right here you've got an amazing gathering team, you've got a Dodicarus, Ankylosaur, and the Thorny Dragons, all uh, which can harvest stone, wood, and metal. But right here you've got a uh, basilisk just waiting to eat all of them. So, you know, once again, yeah, check that out. I barely had to get anywhere near that thing, and it's already coming to eat me. So, I don't necessarily recommend this area, but I did find two Dodicarus spawns right around here. And there was another one that popped up somewhere right around here. I'm having trouble finding him now, because they're so hard to see in this biome, because they actually match the rock coloration pretty well. So this is another good location to find Dodicarus if you have a really strong wrong fighter dino on your side, or you've got a flyer where you can just pick them up. But, uh, you know, if you're on foot, I don't really recommend this spot either. 
So here's a much safer location to find and tame Dodicarus. Uh, safe is always a relative term. There are some dangerous rexes and things that patrol these plains, but right around here is actually a pretty good spot that I've found several Dodicarus. It's a pretty high spawn rate, and they don't seem to be getting killed as often as most areas. So we got this nice little lime green tropical Dodicarus for summer, and uh, we do have quite a few raptors and things, but nothing you can't handle with a decent mount. Now you can actually get pretty close to this area Area. if you follow this river all the way from the White Shoals, pretty close to where the Redwoods start. And there are some swampy areas that'll give you some trouble, definitely some Spinosaurs to sail past, but if you've got a raft and you take it up to this hill, you can actually find several Dodicarus, and I was actually able to spot two of them. Oh, there's the other one. He definitely blends in with the rocks around here, but uh, there's another location I was able to find a Dodicarus. I have not seen any Basilisks along the coast here, which is definitely a plus, but check Check this out, my other arch nemesis, the Microraptor. And I much prefer fighting something deadly that's really big and I can see it coming, but these things just pop out of nowhere and destroy you. But another great thing about this location is there's beaver spawns right next to it, so you can pick up a beaver and Dodicarus at the same time. And right across this bay is that savanna area we were able to find so many other Dodicarus spawns. So if you happen to live near the Redwoods, it's a decent spawn rate around the edge of the Redwood Forest. You can find quite a few Dodicarus out here, but once again, finding them still alive is a much harder challenge. And uh, technically, anywhere in the entire Redwood Forest, you might find Dodicarus, but they're a very low spawn rate. And uh, as usual, the Redwoods are pretty dangerous, so the odds of finding one that does spawn are low enough already, and finding one that's still alive are even lower. So I wouldn't even even bother looking for one in the redwood forest myself unless you happen to stumble across one. If you live on the northern side of the map, there's actually a pretty decent place to find Dodicarus and Ankylosaurs in the same spot, right up here. And we're up on the northern edge of the Redwood Forest. It's actually right next to some of the tundra area. But if you live in the snow, this is a good place to look for Dodicarus, and uh, you can actually sail over to the coast right by this area pretty easily. And uh, it's a nice little spot you can park your boat pretty safely, but there's a lot of dangerous stuff out in this whole area. And I've seen a decent amount of Dodicarus spawns up here, and actually quite a few ankylosaurs too, and uh, we got some nice event-colored ankylosaurs. I'd definitely like to have one of those, so this is a good place to look if you're looking for some gathering dinos and you live up in the north. So before we wrap up our Dodicarus locations guide for the Crystal Isles map, I will show you one more location where they do have a very high spawn rate. So here's that waterfall we were looking at on a couple of the earlier locations, and if you follow this river all the way up, you get to the Copper Hills, and that's this area with all these copper-colored trees. Now, all of the area that has those trees has a pretty decent spawn rate for Dodicarus. It's a really high spawn rate, but I almost never never see them up here. I did actually find one that was still alive, but everywhere you go it is like wall-to-wall -wall deadly stuff that's going to eat anything that spawns. So uh, you've got a Dodicarus right here on the coast, which would be a perfect find, except we've got two T-Rexes already eating it. And uh, if he survives the Rexes, he's got a pack of Allosaurs, some Argents, I mean he's not going to last five minutes. So you've got to get really lucky to find a Dodicarus around here. They do spawn quite a bit, but uh, it's not going to be pretty. But if you're already up here getting a lot of metal, definitely keep an eye out for Dodicarus and Ankylosaurs, because there's lots of good gathering dinos that do spawn all over the place here. So that is most of the best locations to find Dodicarus in the Crystal Isles map. Hopefully that helped you find your own Dodicarus so you can have a really amazing stone gathering machine. You can level up 10 times as fast if you've got a good Dodicarus on your team. And because of that, I almost immediately look for a Dodicarus as soon as I start playing Ark on any map. Now once again, you may not find any live Dodicarus in any of these locations, but hopefully this guy gave you your best chance at finding a Dodicarus that you can tame in your Crystal Isles adventures. And if this guide was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so it can help them too.
and drop a comment and let me know where you found the Dodicarus on the Crystal Isles map and if you've been able to find any other locations where you can easily get Dodicarus. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have so many helpful guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays coming your way and you won't want to miss any of that. So until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. That helps us so much. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new ARK videos and live streams coming soon and you won't want to miss any of them. You can do so many awesome things in ARK, but it is really hard to figure out out on your own. Check out the links at the end of this video to browse our huge library of fun, clean, and helpful ARC guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays. If you would like to earn awesome rewards while supporting this channel, click the join button or link next to the subscribe button to learn more about our new channel memberships. You can also join our awesome Discord community at the link in the description of this video or on top of the channel homepage. And if if you want to see my wife and I play lots of other fun video games together, visit our other YouTube channel, The Console Co-op Couple, using the link in the video description or in the channel homepage. And now I want to give a shout out to some of the biggest supporters of this channel. Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Wolf Girl Be Like, Austin Nagel, Kelly Razjak, Black Silver Ride, and Emmy Fisher. You guys are all awesome and we so appreciate your support. Now if you'd like to be a monthly supporter and get a shout out at the end of our videos, check out the join button next to the subscribe button for more information about that. And for everyone else, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.